I don't know about you, but I'm tired of hearing the stories of that parent talk about their kid walking away. I'm tired of us losing kids and the next generation from the church. Because we live in a culture of doubt, a culture of questions. We no longer live in a culture that if you just quote scripture, they're going to fall to their knees and believe what you say. And more than ever, just as it was true 2,000 years ago, we need to be ready to give an apologetic, a defense. And before they can even really entertain the truth of the gospel, they've got intellectual questions or objections or doubts. And so apologetics is this process of clearing away this intellectual rubbish, giving them reasons to believe that Christianity is true and they ought to embrace it. But not only do we have a true story of reality, Christianity is that true story of reality. But we also have to understand that the story of Christianity is not just a true story, but it's a good story. Studies show that one of the main reasons people don't evangelize is because they're afraid they'll be asked a question they can't answer. And we need to create spaces in our churches for people to ask their questions. Right, because that means we understand that means we're able to accurately represent them. The point is God can handle our questions. God can handle our doubts. What are you doing with your opportunity to share Christ with somebody? It's not that we necessarily need new gospel presentations, but we need to learn how to have gospel conversations. And so part of the goal is equipping Christians to be confident in the truthfulness of their faith, giving them the rational foundations and resources to know that Christianity is true. And when we reestablish that in our communities, it will help equip and train us to go back into the culture for the cause of Christ.